here where I shoot a video about the trailer just so you can just get kind of used to where things are in it. The first thing I'm going to show you is the battery connection, which you have to turn on the battery when you first get here. So there's going to be a, a strap that holds the cover on, like there's a strap that holds this one on here. So I've already removed it from this battery, so take this off. And there's a knob here. It's a plastic knob. Just turn the plastic knob and it'll engage the power. So I had to install that because it didn't come with it. But you turn that plastic knob to test whether it has power, just touch this switch. Just touch it, right? To disengage the trailer when you leave the year, when you leave for, you know, for the week or the month or whatever, just back off here, not all the way, just back it off, test. See how it's dead, it doesn't do anything? Boom. Okay, so put your cover back on and put your straps back on when you're done. Your LP gas containers are under here. This is your, your you know, when they run out, you're gonna have to take these bottles off here and get them refilled or buy new ones. You can buy a new one at the hardware store. Okay, you can unscrew this thing, it'll loosen this metal piece and then you can remove this or both of them and refill them and then install them. This is the same thing as a barbecue connection has. So that's good. It's easy. Put it back on. All right. Let's come back around here. These are your storage containers. There's a lot of storage here. These are huge amounts of storage in here. You've got keys to this thing. You have to press in and use one of the other key, right? So if it doesn't work, just press it a little bit and then it'll open. But it's cavernous. It's got a huge amount of space in it, okay? So you can also hold it up with a magnet and it comes back down. All right, so shutting that. Okay, the, Okay. so the ladder. The ladder's easy. You just pick it up and pull, pick it up and pull again. It comes out. Now the door, it's just got two locks with these keys that go in here, they're easy, just open them. This thing, you lift up, this metal thing, you lift up, move over like that. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's done. So now, here's the fancy part. This is the circuit board. After you turn on your power, right, and you can turn on the electricity, the water pump, right, and that turns on um, the inside. And if you want heated water, right you also turn on that so it'll start heating the water for you it's automatic so it'll instantly happen at the top here is your battery check you push that it'll tell you so i've shut it off right remember i shut off the battery but if you push that it'll tell you how much battery you have the fresh tells you how full your fresh water tank is you got 30 gallons black water is the poop tank right gray water is everything else and these meters will show you when you press the button, the meter will show you when it comes up there. So let me go around here, actually. And I think it's far better if I do this with... Okay, now everything's on. You can see these things are on. So battery, two thirds, fresh water tank is full, black is empty, which is good. Gray, well, it's got a little bit of water in the gray because I've been doing some testing, okay? So these are all the switches you want on, right? And then, okay, then we have, you can hit that, this dimmer switch right here, and that turns that on, right? Um, and you have other switches in here. Okay. Um, 
here is your fridge here. And right now it's off, but you can turn the fridge on, right? And it works off of power or gas, either one, right? But right now they're off. The microwave oven will only work when you're plugged into your generator. And the same thing with the air conditioning, only work with when you're plugged into the generator. But on battery power, everything else will work. Okay, so here is your thermostat that turns it on. I've just turned it on, right? And you can see you can set it after it's turned on. Right, there you go, see? He's got hot and cold. But just hold it for a while to shut it off. Oop, you see? I turn it and it's on. It's already starting. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just shut it off. Because you don't want it to run. Okay. The bathroom's pretty self-explanatory. Now that your pump is on, I can turn it on and you'll hear a pump come on for the water. This panel comes up for your sink. Also, this whole thing moves out with this glide room switch. So I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna move it out a little bit so you can see. Let's see, let's see if you can see it move here. So it's a little hard for you to see, but it's moving out right now. And you, here's it moving in. Right? This whole section moves out. This bed comes out, and this bed, and then it folds. Here's the Murphy bed that comes out. So this catch comes out, and this whole bed folds down into a queen size bed. When you leave, it's important when you leave the yurt, right? You want just to shut everything off. Boom. Just shut everything off, right? And then, here, let's turn the dimmers. You can shut these, these switches off here, okay? And then you want to make sure that all of this is off. And you come outside to shut this off, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple other important things on the side of the earth. First of all, <coughs> This is your water. If you're just gonna pour water from a hose, non just to fill your fresh water tank, that's this one. It'll fill to 30 gallons and then overflow, it's fine when you fill it up. But you can look at the light inside the panel to show you how full it's getting as you fill it. This one is to attach a pressure hose from like a house. See city water connection? So this is your, your water, okay? So now, under here, these are your dumps for your for the sewage. So you're gonna have a hose connected on the end of this, right? This lever here, it says gray on it, right? This is what you'll be able to dump at the yurt. This is, gray water is everything except the toilet. Just think about it that way. Sink, you know, shower, everything. So you're gonna be able to let it full, fill for a while and you'll see when the gray tank is full inside and then just pull this lever out and this will drain out of here. This other lever over here says black. Don't touch it. Don't use the toilet. <laughs> because once the black tank is full, you have no way to empty it until uh, John makes you a septic system. So that one just stays, stays like that, right? <laughs> yeah, that one's in, okay? So those are the important areas of the yurt. This right here, it's coming out of the side of the RV is the plug that will go into the generator we're gonna give you, or you're gonna have. Okay, you can see the cord right here. So uh, I'll have to explain that other part and make a movie of that when I'm up there. So 
again, the last part is come back here. See, remember? remember we got power. We don't have power. Just back this off enough so you don't have power. See, see that? It just takes a, a couple turns of this thing. Only a couple turns. You don't want to overturn this thing because it won't work anymore. And then put your cover back on and you're done. So I hope you enjoyed this big RV. It's pretty nice. I think it'll work well in the yurt for you.